Flasche 20 zur Gruppenführer. Sind Sie ein Amerikaner bei 10 Uhr? Ja, das ist eine Überraschung. Also starring Frank Overton and Chris Robinson, with guest stars Edward Franz, John Van Drelen, and special guest star Diana Hyland. Tonight's episode, Practice to Deceive. Gibbons. I think we met at Pine Tree, Major. Yes, sir. Well, I guess I'm here to take command of the 918th. What about Colonel Gallagher, sir? I can tell you now, he wasn't in Scotland on leave. Flew a Mustang to Russia on top security business. Oh, he just got notice from the Luftwaffe this morning. I suppose you'd call it a boast. He was shot down over eastern Germany. Colonel Gallagher is a prisoner of war. We are told by the experts that the paper is of Soviet Russian origin. Colonel Gallagher, other pieces of the paper you burned have been recovered. Quite possibly we might learn the nature of their contents even without your help. All right. Let me remind you again that Colonel Von Dart seldom intervenes as he has done for you. I begin to believe that you will never cooperate. Sir, I ask again, leave him to me or remove him from my compound. You're famous, not as a fighter pilot or a courier. Perhaps you permitted yourself to be shot down so you could parachute into Germany. You can save yourself by confirming that you were indeed in contact with legitimate Soviet military authorities. Colonel, for three days you've been trying that spy routine. 
isn't going to work. Very well, Major. I withdraw. Thank you, sir. It's your responsibility. Completely. I want to know what you were doing in Russia, Colonel Gallagher. You will find me less forbearing than Van Dutz. Major. Name, rank, and serial number. That's all you're gonna get. He tried to attack me. Attack you? He was exhausted. Call a doctor. I expected you to use some judgment. Surely the two of you could have controlled a man who hasn't eaten for three days and slept for three days. He was not as weak as we thought. He's a very valuable man. He could give us vital information. If he dies, you will be held accountable. The drug is working. He sleeps. These are the passes to the Luftwaffe hospital. Your timing must be exact. Now go. Check your watch. as far as we go. Gallagher, it's time to wake up. Get the clothes and go.
later I'll get you food, my friend. But now your stomach must be sick from all the injections you were given. I'm your friend? If I'm your friend, why are you holding that pistol? Because you do not trust me. I am anti-Nazi, but this you do not believe yet. How did you manage to fool the doctor? The doctor is one of us. Now, wait a minute. You're trying to tell me you risk your lives? You go through all this just to help one American prisoner escape? I've helped many escape, but you are special. Now go, change your clothes, quickly. We don't have any time to lose. Report an accident. Do you have a telephone? Your wall, how corporal? And you've got a good and stark and drink. Colonel, this is not the trap you think it is. Follow me, please. Feeling better now? I think those clothes will fit you. There are bathing facilities in there. Primitive but adequate. Anything else you may require? Wait a minute. You swept me for three days. Then you beat me senseless. And now this, why? I regretted treating you as I did. I had hoped it would be apparent. Well, it isn't. And furthermore, I don't believe that you're simply trying to help me to escape. I think that you have... Admiral, I have the honor to present Colonel Joseph Gallagher, United States Army Air Corps. How is be at ease? I don't understand, an Admiral. You do not remember? Admiral von Kreuter? To be sure. So, this is the second war I fight against your country. Yet I have pleasant memories of drinking good Rhine wine with your father and mother in times between. You were uh, 12, 13 years of age? Yes. You remember my hide? I was a little girl. No, but yours was a baby. Mm -hmm. A grown woman now. Admiral, what is this all about? When I heard you had been shot down, I moved as quickly as possible to have you brought to us. In a short while, you will meet some of my uh, associates. Rational men, I think. And I have assured them that the son of General Maxwell Gallagher can be trusted. Admiral, I'm just a prisoner. No, sir. I think it's better that we forget that our families were once friendly. We need your help. 
We have evolved a plan to which you can make, no, must make a vital contribution. It is a plan which will end the war. I apologize, Admiral. I am late. Will you follow, sir? To a point, as always. I'm glad we decided not to meet in your home. Sit. Is this the man? Gentlemen, Colonel Gallagher, Colonel General Eric Strom, Count Klaus von Schulendorf, Father Bertolt Kreitzer. My son, you are sent by God. I'm an American officer, out of uniform. For that, I can be shot. Do you believe in God? Yes. Then I give you my word, as a servant of God, that these proceedings are valid. All right, now I know why you're here. Why do I find out what I'm doing here? Siegfried, bist du seine sicher? Seine Stellungnahme ist gefährlich. Look, if you want me to understand this, he's going to have to speak English. Ich glaube, das ist hoffnungslos. Speak English, please. Surely we want a man of conviction. This is life and honor to each of us, Colonel. Please forgive their doubts. All right, you have a plan to end the war. Well, so have I. Why don't your people surrender? That, in effect, is what we propose to do. Surrender? We try to forestall your invasion of France. In May... We addressed a note to you, Mr. Dulles, in Switzerland. We offered a separate peace with the Western powers. Mr. Dulles replied that this was out of the question. Unconditional surrender is a bitterness, Colonel. But a greater bitterness is the devastation of one's homeland. Perhaps we are guiltier than these mad Nazis, for we swore allegiance to them. Is there a way out with honor? Maybe not. But we here stand ready to sacrifice honor and life if Germany can be saved. All right. What do you want from me? Within now a matter of days, even hours, we shall seize power from the Nazis. Fully half of Germany's military officers and their men are with us, including Field Marshal Rommel. You're describing a revolution. A new Germany, Colonel. Before the 1st of August, but before this moment comes, I must be in contact with your high command in London. What I want you to do is to fly me to England. Surely you cannot doubt us now. If he went alone, in London he would be thought another Rudolf Hess. But if you take him... Your oath will make him credible. What about your oaths? You swore allegiance to Hitler and Hitler's Germany. If there is no living Hitler, our allegiance to him is dead. You going to kill Hitler? Der Tod Adolf Hitlers is the einzige Lösung. Everyone in this room is under arrest. You, a spy. A spy? I am an SS security officer, Major.
Corporal, I want no part of this. These men tricked me. Get into one mask. No! Take me, arrest me, I surrender. I tell you they drugged me. These men are traitors, and I'm your witness. You need me. I surrender. Where are they? Where did they go? Uh, there is no one. I'm alone. Only us. I surrender. You lie. I swear, only three of us. I surrender. Up here. Ich glaube, zwei Tote da drin, Herr Pfarrer. Zwei Tote? Jawohl. Kommen Sie, helfen Sie mir. Seien Sie vorsichtig. Go up, up, please. Geht zurück. Geht zurück. Any medical supplies you have. Yes. We've been helping Allied prisoners to escape. And where is Colonel Gallagher? There is a barge. It belongs to Schulz, the wagonist. We send him on a barge down the river to the Rhine. Then another group takes over. Always the same. And the girl, Heidi Foss. Did she go with Gallagher? Yes, to the barge. And who else escaped? Who was wounded? I found bloodstains on a barrel. Who escaped? No one, no one. You arrested all the others. Which of you murdered Corporal Schmidt? Sir, we thought he was one of us. So, you closed his mouth. No, I swear, it was someone shooting from the outside who killed him. So, the Gestapo is responsible. They opened fire on us. Das heißt? Abfield? Major Strasser, you apply the definition murder to the death of Corporal Schmidt. Sir, the man said they thought Corporal Schmidt was one of them. And if he was not, and I believe he was not, then he must have been there as a spy. <laughs> Excellent, Major. Corporal Schmidt was one of my security officers. And I must ask you, sir, why he was assigned as my personal orderly. Oh, Paul. Only because Heidi was serving in your compound? You see, we suspected them underground here for some time, and Gallagher's escape brought it to a head. 
You see, the matter is somewhat delicate. Heidi Voss is a daughter of Admiral Siegfried von Kreuter. She is working for traitors? Does he know? Of course not. Von Kreuter is unimpeachable. Paul, well, this will hurt him deeply. If it isn't handled properly, it can blacken an honored name. Now that we have definite proof against Heidi, the kindest thing for us to do is tell him at once. Will you go to him? You know him, sir. I do not. You and he are heroes. You suffered for Germany. And Heidi served here with you. You know her. Can't you just visit him informally? Without embarrassment? Yeah, well, of course. I'll uh, call on him first thing in the morning. Thank you, Paul. You do me a great favor. Thank you. Well, I suppose we may as well have the other shot. Do you think we have all the information we can get out of them? What do we have? False confessions is all we have. These are not mere peasant idealists. We do only get more lies. I cannot get rid of the feeling that there is something bigger at stake. That this is more than simply an underground helping prisoners to escape. Well, with Schmidt's report on Major Strasser, I'm inclined to agree. Well, who are they? Can they be using Gallagher? You don't suspect the Admiral, do you? Von Kreuter? <laughs> ridiculous. That's ridiculous. No. Herb Strasser followed. It's what he does now, tonight, that interests me. I believe, as Corporal Schmidt believed, that Strasser will eventually lead us to where we wish to go. Father, Colonel von Watz is playing games with me. He knows who Heidi is, and he knows she was in the Ratskella with Gallagher. Corporal Schmidt? Exactly. Schmidt died before I could report the rest of you. But Van Dats must know I was there too. He is using me for bait. Here, give him some of this. I think you have saved his life. No. I don't think he's that badly injured. For me, what you have done is not a small thing, Colonel. Earlier I told your father that uh, I thought we should forget the fact that our families were friendly. Father Bertolt, come in. I've just had a talk with Colonel Strasser. How soon can you leave your father? I will not leave him. My child, Colonel Strasser must come here tomorrow to tell your father that you helped Allied prisoners. Strasser thinks it's a subterfuge that he is being followed. Perhaps von Dutz may realize that he's onto something bigger. Does he suspect my father? They know someone was wounded. They found bloodstains. Colonel... It is four miles to the airfield. There will be a Heinkel P3. Dual control, training plane, no guns, but fast. The markings are KY54DA. It will be ready at dawn, special radio equipment. But, Father, I, I don't believe the Admiral should go. 
Give me the documents. All the documents. They tell the story. I'll get them there. We have considered that. No, Colonel. The death of Adolf Hitler has been carefully planned. It will occur tomorrow, perhaps the day after. There must then be in London a voice. A voice of the new movement. An official voice of human decency in Germany. Father? Liebchen, be still. I will reach General Storm, or Count von Schulendorf. Now Heidi will take the documents to the airfield. Oh, wait, wait. wait. Schulendorf. No. Rest. Please, Admiral, listen to me. Just now, tonight, this moment, the whole new movement is in danger. So? And do not lead them to von Schollendorf. I will go to London. Admiral, don't you understand, sir? I, I shall try to understand, but I will, will not argue. Go. May God be with you. I think you should make this trip with that wound. Heidi, try to understand. This has nothing to do with your father's courage. Now, we're attacked in the air, and I have to start maneuvering quickly. His wound might open up. He could bleed to death. Joseph! Father? Joseph, why should Germans attack a German plane? No. Tell me quickly all that has happened. See who it is. Get me a robe. Stay right here. Go inside. Quickly, hurry. Your Excellency, to forgive this intrusion. But. Yes? Sir, I was told that your daughter had left on a river barge with a certain escaped American. I know exactly what you were told. Father, I can explain everything. You tell them nothing, my child. The priest, he is innocent. He was only trying to warn me. I think we'd better search the house. My house will not search. I am sorry, sir. But your daughter has... Please! Fräulein! Silence! I will tell him myself. Father, you mustn't... Let any of this change you. You have your loyalty. Germany comes first always for you. As it is with you? No, no. You see, I have been helping Allied prisoners to escape. Even today, an American colonel. Father, I hate Nazi Germany. But I didn't want to hurt you. Because I love you. 
but I despise these men and all they stand for. And I will make any sacrifice to see them brought to their knees. Take her from my house. who can help her. Get me to England, Joseph. Get me to England. Fire 4 to fighter patrol. This is a training flight. I have a pilot in transition training. Over. Don't go any further than Zirgestadt. The Americans are bombing along the Channel Coast. I think there is something the matter with your radio. Patrol leader out. Thank you. Fighter patrol. Out. We have radio trouble. Yes. Uh-huh. What is the designation number? Uh-huh. Good, thank you. Hello. Luftwaffe Signal Center. Thank you. You see, I would like to believe he is simply running away from the humiliation of his daughter. But, yes? Von Datz here, Sonderbefehl, alert all units. A Heinkel P3, designation number KY54AD, somewhere over Germany. Course and destination unknown. Turn it back and order it to land. If they refuse, shoot it down. I think I hear an alert. Us? Do they know? I think so. This radio. Five minutes from the Channel Coast. Yes, I know where we are, but the problem now is who we are. Leader to patrol, there he is. Fighter patrol to KY-54DA. Turn back at once and land, over. KY-54DA, attention. Turn back at once and land or we'll shoot you down. Fighter patrol has ordered us to turn back. What shall we do? Admiral, if I had sacrificed my daughter for this project, they wouldn't even ask. Fighter Patrol, this is Siegfried von Trotter. My radio is weak. I do not understand your transmission. Out!
They are coming to shoot us down. I don't think so, Admiral. Give me that microphone. Sir, put your headset next to my ear. Repeat of the formation, American fighters. Turn off. Do not attack. Messerschmitts are leaving. German Heichel to American fighters. German Heichel to American fighters. This is Colonel Joe Gallagher, 918th Bomb Group. Do you read me on this frequency? Over. Hello there, Uncle Baby. This is the Easter Bunny. Are you ready? Over. Heichel to American fighters. This is Colonel Joe Gallagher. I'm going to drop my wheels. I want you to escort me in. Over. Hello, Heichel. This is the Easter Bunny. Over and watch out. Headquarters, Stobol. Right. Single HE-111. Nuisance rate. Smythe Beckworth Preserve. Well, pick up some men at the gate. All right, driver, move out. Gallagher. Now, wait a minute, I'm not a German. I'm an American. We stole that airplane. I'm from the 918th Bomb Group. Joe, I was afraid we'd lost you. Who's this, sir? Uh, Admiral von Kreuter. Get him to a hospital. They were planning to overthrow the Nazis. Information in this envelope. Obviously, you haven't heard the news. What news? We just got on the radio, sir. Somebody planted a bomb at the Rostenberg command post. A guy named Shulinov's taking over. Adolf Hitler's dead. He's dead. He's dead. they tried to knock him off. And he's not as tragic as the sacrifices ahead of make. Joe, the Admiral died. And no mercy shall be shown. Turn that guy off. You know, I'm convinced there's only one time you can really measure a man. That's in the moment. If he does or doesn't die for what he believes. I know the Admiral died when he let them take his daughter away. <laughs> <laughs> 